what, what, uh, how do you, you didn't know who was calling? Yeah, I did. How could you have known? Because my mom just called, and then she called again. How about when your mom called and you caught off the podcast? They don't need to know that there were two phone calls in the interim. Well, now they do. So uh, now there won't be any deception by you. Uh-huh. As to the number of phone calls there were. Because I could really benefit from uh, falsifying such uh, wonderful and useful information. You do all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Ethiopia. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Though there was some cool news. Apparently Denver, Colorado legalized marijuana. Did they actually pass a law that says yes. so? Uh, passed a measure that makes it legal for residents over the age of 21 to possess up to an ounce of marijuana. To possess? Yeah. What about to sell? Uh, they can sell less than an ounce. So they can still get dealers, but they can't get people who just have some marijuana. Hmm. And the um, state of Oregon... Isn't not the if they Oregon. doesn't someone just have to say hey your town law can't conflict with state law? No, because it can conflict. All this means is that now it's only a violation of state and federal law. So Denver told the state police that yeah, if the state police of Colorado want to enforce their stupid drug laws, they're gonna have to send state troopers down here and do it themselves. Huh? Because our cops aren't gonna. But isn't it also? But I mean, if you're gonna do it that way, right? If you look at like uh, look at a state like Connecticut, right? Yeah. The town of Trumbull that I lived in doesn't have a law that says murder is is illegal. Mm. The state has a law that says murder is illegal. And all the murder crap, right? Yeah. So if you murder someone in Connecticut, it's a violation of state law. It is indeed a violation of state law and state now, law only. But the town cops arrest you because yes. you broke a state law. They don't have to send state troopers to get you. The town cops don't have to though, and they won't now. Oh, they don't have to? And they won't. No, they don't. Oh, really? No. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Ah, I did not know this. I thought that pretty much, you know, it's like federalism. Federal law, state law, town law. All yeah. above laws apply below. Yeah, but apparently the town is going to say, screw you. We did something but that I we mean, think is right. But I mean, the town of Beacon doesn't have a no marijuana law. Yeah, what if it did? Well, if it did, you'd go to jail for breaking town law and breaking state law and then... Whatever, but yeah, no, they passed a law of saying specifically it is not illegal, and specifically oh, the police but, will but not then, go after it. But then, doesn't that conflict with the state law? Yes. And this isn't the law illegal? No, it's stupid. Basically, it's if a your law in a town conflicts it with the state the law, the point is, it's a political move because they believe that marijuana shouldn't be illegal. Oh, and that's a political move. Is fine, but the and law is going to be thrown out real soon. Maybe, maybe not. What do you mean, maybe not? If a state makes a law that directly conflicts with the federal law, yeah. it just goes away. Uh, not always. It has to get to a federal court first. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, this will go to a state court. Who do you think is going to win in the state court for the, when the state involved, it's their court? Well, the state hasn't said they're going to do anything at all. Well, if the state lets it fly, then that basically invalidates the state law. I mean, the most Cause the it's not, can, the state law the is not enforced. The state can do, because you can't, it's not against the law to not enforce the law. No, that's correct. So the only thing the state can do is send state troopers in to go after people with an ounce of marijuana and get them. And that's fine. But the local cops in Denver don't have to do jack anymore, and they won't. That's fine, yeah. So it's never going to hit the courts because there's no chance for it to hit the courts. It's not illegal for the local cops to not enforce a law that isn't on their books. But yeah, but some guy can just go f make file some papers in court, and then there'll be a, a thing about it. Uh, you can't file in court unless there has been a damage to you. Well, you can you can file suit against the uh, the state can try to sue the town for what? There has to be a damage, and they have to prove for it. damaging the state's laws. That's tricky. You have to prove tort, and it's not that easy to do. People Most do this likely, kind of crap all the time. Yeah, and they usually get thrown out immediately. If you don't have tort, you can't even sue. They just throw yeah, it out. Yeah, but you know what? There are lawyers who know what they're talking about who are smarter than us that are working on it right now. Yeah, and you know what? The town's probably going to win because no one cares. Yeah, but I mean, if the state doesn't enforce it, you can then you can argue in court. They didn't enforce the law. It might as well not exist. Yeah, that might be their goal. We don't know. I like that kind of thing, but... I really don't think we should start a trend of town laws overriding state laws because, you know, next we'll have Nazi town. Uh, you know what? That's fine because I'll just move out of Nazi town and the Nazi people can live in their crappy little Nazi town. Yeah. Federalism. Godwin, too. <laughs> We're on a roll. I'm going for Godwin, like, five today. All right, all right. Godwin this one. 
So uh, the Microsoft Live debut. Uh, Windows wouldn't exist if IBM didn't make computers and sell them to Nazis. Um, IBM didn't make computers to sell to Nazis. They there, did way back in the day. There weren't computers. Yeah, there were. There were like Enigma and the. There were machines of of international business. <laughs> 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 there, there were computers. Yeah. They were just really crappy and they were really big. But anyway. So this is real reminiscent of. The other famous Microsoft demo that failed in front of millions of people. Yeah, but see, the thing is, this one actually, while it's hilarious that it failed, and Microsoft was very crapo in yep. its failing, it failed because the internet connection they were using died. And also, everyone who was there watching, their wireless died. So it obviously yeah. wasn't... Though, two of the reporters who were there say that they think the demo died, and then Microsoft made the wireless die, so they couldn't blog about it right away. The only two things that could be true that I could think of are, number one, Microsoft actually just lost the connection, and those reporters are all Linuxy and awesome. Maybe. Or they're right, which means, ha-ha, Linuxy and awesome. Either way, <laughs> no one's going to remember why it failed. They're just going to remember that it failed. Yeah, they're also going to remember, I read one guy who actually used, I think that's the article, the one you're looking at, one of those guys was talking about actual Microsoft Live and not about the fact that it went down. And he's like, yeah, it's cool after you customize it a whole bunch. It's not immediately useful. Ah. And it basically compared to Google's stuff that is equivalent, it, it's poop. Uh -huh. So, yeah. They yeah. finally come through on the, oh, we're going to make it a web service instead of an application. And it sucks. All right, Nostradamus. I, I thought it was going to be good if they actually did it. No, nah, I pretty much assumed it wouldn't be. Because uh, I thought it would be just like an application only on the web, but no. People have been trying to do that forever. And they've done it successfully. Not for office suites that are There's a word processor, and there's a spreadsheet, and they're both really good. Uh, they're not as good from a business perspective. And by business, I mean what people in businesses use word processors and spreadsheets for. If you slightly modified these things, they would be. You just had to make it so it, uh, you just have to you know, customize a little bit for your business. Yeah, but keep in mind a lot of businesses use office suites in stupid ways. Oh, we're going to use a spreadsheet to do something we should use Microsoft Access for, but Microsoft Access sucks. You should never use it. They're, using, <laughs> they're basically using Excel for something they're supposed to be using MySQL for. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I need to make a, a, a poster. I'm going to use Microsoft Word instead of, uh, I guess, the modern equivalent of Publisher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, my thing of the day isn't so much. It's really just a Wikipedia article, but I thought it was cool, and it amused me greatly at work. Ah, uh, Wikipedia. It is a list of unusual deaths, and it is just people who have died in unusual, funny, or interesting ways throughout history. How unusual could it be? I can't imagine a death that's so strange. All right, this one may not be true, but according to... May not be true? Then what's the point? Because accordingly, in 207 B.C., uh, How do we, if it's 207 B.C., what the hell? Chrysippus, some Greek philosopher, died of laughter after seeing a donkey eating figs. That's, that's right, just here, not... here, I'll move to ones that are definitely verified. Uh, King Bela I of Hungary died when his tall wooden throne collapsed because it was sabotaged by an assassin. <laughs> he was in a high chair. <laughs> and a guy yeah. cut the legs out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another one with figs. Matthew Corvinus, a king of Hungary, died after eating a poisoned fig. I think someone sabotaged this thread, this page, with fig stories. Uh, I have uh. a theory. I have a theory. Hypothesis, if you will. <laughs> it's a hypothesis. Hypothesis. Uh, ooh, here's a good one. Uh, this conquistador was killed by uh, having molten gold poured down his throat. He probably wanted it to happen that way. He was probably like, pour the gold down my throat, then I can eat the hottest peppers. <laughs> Tycho Brahe died of a bladder infection after refusing to leave for the bathroom during a banquet for the sake of good manners. Oh, no, no, no. It says that they figured out later that, no, he just died of mercury poisoning. Never mind. But he made, he's still alive. He makes comics, and they're funny. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a funny list, and I could just sit here and read them all day. So I'm gonna Let's stop. not do that. So my funny thing of awesome of the day was uh, Case Western. There's a video floating around the net of uh, a chemistry lecture. All right. I think it was a Halloween chemistry lecture, but I don't think that matters. And basically this teacher up front showing something about 
chemical equilibrium, some reaction, whatever. Uh-huh. 